Okay. So today I have a few things that I am going to be going over with you. You can see I have a few different resources here that we will be taking a look through. Alright, and it is all pertaining to the Pennsylvania fishing and boating information. And this is all for the 2022 season. Alright, so this one here can see this is the larger full-sized handbook. So this has a lot of information. So I will not be reading this entire booklet to you. It's a lot to look at. But I will give a little summary of all of the information that is included in here. And then this one is a smaller little pamphlet that we can take a look at for safe paddling. Okay, and these are all for you to keep. Here is another smaller sized pamphlet about boating regulations. Some helpful information here. Okay. And then lastly, I do have a Pennsylvania Fishes um, Identification Guide, and it is a very user friendly pamphlet with pictures. So if you'd like, I could go over some of the different types of fish that you may find if you are fishing in any of the Pennsylvania waterways. Okay, if you'd like. So first, let's see. give you a brief introduction to the handbook here. So as I said, this is for the 2022 season. Some of the information may have changed from previous years. Okay. So you can see here on the front Really, you can find um, anything that you may need, uh, any information that you might need from inside. First, firstly, here we have contact information. This is for the state headquarters. We have the address and phone numbers and hours of operation. It also has the center region office. And here is a phone number for fishing licenses, voting registration and titling, as well as any publications that you may need. This is where you can request those. Now here we have contact information for the regional offices, law enforcement, and education. Okay. So you see here it says to please contact law enforcement for information about regulations and fishing and boating um, opportunities. And to please contact the Outreach and Education Office for information about fishing and boating uh, 
programs and boating safety education. Okay. And you can see there are um, offices per region. Here we have the Northwest, Southwest, North Central, the South Central office, the Northeast region, and the Southeast region here. And down below here we have the state fish hatcheries. And Includes the address and phone number for each as well. Okay. So now, coming over here, we have the contents. And this handbook is divided into these different categories here. This is um, regulations by location, if that's what you are looking for. Okay, includes all of the different waterways. Okay, if you are looking for information about regulations by species, you can see that here, the big bass program, and release bass. Um, so you can see if that is more so what you need to find. And here we have information about trout fishing regulations. Okay, that might be helpful for you. And then we have requirements and law. So you can see if you're looking for information about licensing or permits, different regulations, um, let's see, boundary waters, um, salt water, Angler Registry, all of that type of information would be here, okay? So, as I said, if you look through, okay, you can just sort of Flip through just a bit, just so you can sort of see the layout here. Okay, so there really is a lot of helpful information. Okay, 
So, as I said, this is for you to keep. And if you lose it, you can easily request another one. I can mail it out to you. Or sometimes you can find these in different convenience stores and things like that. And these are uh, free. There's no charge for these handbooks. Okay, so I think that this identification guide we will save for last. So here I just have these two very small pamphlets. This one is the Boating Regulations Recap. Okay. So this one you can really just take a look at yourself. It just has all of the sort of mandatory guidelines and equipment, the different certifications that you need, as well as operational requirements. There's a little bit of additional information down here about paddle sports. Okay, so that's very helpful something if you're just looking for a quick uh, piece of information about that. It's all here for you, okay? And this one here is a little bit more of a fun <laughs> sort of pamphlet. You can see all the different pictures here. And this is for different types of uh, paddle sports like kayaking, things like that. All right, some safety information. You may not know about the different types of uh, flotation devices like life jackets and the floating um, flotation devices here, but there are different types and certain types are required for using uh, different types of water uh, sports and equipment. Okay, so that is another thing that you should have a look at. Okay. And really it's just a lot of safety tips here. Okay. Here, but pay attention. Be considerate of others. Never boat under the influence. Boarding the vessel. Practice re-entry. And plan to get wet. Okay, so this is uh, something you will also want to take a look at. A lot of good information in there. Okay. So I'd say definitely just take a quick look at this before you head out onto the water. Okay. So I know you were interested in some of the marine life, some of the fish that you might be able to catch. So we can take a closer look at this if you'd like. Okay, take a look at all of the different fish that you might encounter. All right. Okay. All right, so now for the fun part. Let's just open up our guide here. Turn this around so you can see it. All right, so how about if we start with the sunfish family here? 
Okay, so starting at the top, this fish here, this is a type of sunfish, and this is called the large mouth bass. Okay, it's a type of sunfish. And then coming down here, we have the small mouth bass. So we might be able to tell the difference between these two types of bass. Down here we have another type of bass. This is the spotted bass. If you can see any difference here. And then here we have the rock bass. They all look pretty similar. Just some minor differences that you might be able to distinguish here. And underneath the sky is the green sunfish. And you can see he has a sort of green tint to him. Okay. And over this side we have some pretty colorful fish. This one is the bluegill. You can see it has this pretty shape. A little more rounded. It's got this bluish color here on the side. And this one here is pretty colorful. This is the pumpkin pumpkin seed fish. You may not have heard of some of these. And we have below is the reader sunfish. Okay, it's a little bit of an orange belly there. Then we have the red breast sunfish. See a bit of a reddish tint there. Maybe a little hard to tell in person, but we can bring this guide along with you. And here is the long ear sunfish. Possibly because of this part of the anatomy there. And down here we have the war mouth. Okay, this one is endangered as well as the long ear sunfish. Okay. This is the banded sunfish, a little bit um, darker in color. You can see the stripes on his body there. Okay. And this one has another pretty color. This is the blue spotted sunfish. You can see the pretty blue spots on his body there. This one is the 
white crappie. But he also has some stripes on him. Not as prominent as the banded sunfish. And this one down here, this is the black crappie. Not sure they look almost the same. I'm not sure one is white and one is black, but a little bit of a different shape. Down here you can see there's a little bit about fish anatomy. Um, this is the spiny rayed fish or yellow perch. Okay, so this is the, um, the first dorsal fin. Okay, you can see here it's a little spiny. And here is the second dorsal fin and this one is softer. And here we have the caudal fin, the back, and the anal fin down here. We have a pelvic fin, or fins, right here, and a pectoral fin, or fins, on the side. Here is a gill cover right here and here is a the lateral line right here. okay so here we have a different type of or a different grouping of fish these are perches and darters would be this whole section over here. Okay, so these are the perches and the darters. Okay, here we have a, a walleye. Okay, just kind of one uniform color there. They all have sort of this similar, similarly shaped body. A little bit longer and thinner body type. And then down below here, it's very similar, a little different in the color. The Saugai. Okay, looks very similar to fish here. It's a little different color brown. A little bit of stripes there. And below again, another very similar. You can see a little difference in the shape of this fin here. This is the Sauger. Okay. And again, with a little bit of the stripes here on the body. And here we have a yellow perch. So it's a little bit brighter in color. Easier to see all of the variations in the color of the fish. You can see all the striping here. And then right here is the log perch. Okay, this one is a little bit different body shape. It's much thinner. You can see all the uh, striping and also in the fin back here. perches. Coming up here we have a Johnny Darter. This one you can see um, has a little bit more of a rounded shaped uh, face here 
and head. Okay, differently shaped fins. It's got this little bit of um, coloring here along the lateral side. And here is a tessellated darter. Okay, again it has this sort of detail here along the lateral line. Looks like little X's. Okay, but also looks similar to the Johnny darter. And the coloring on these is very bright. Okay, this is the green side darter. Look at the, oh, the pretty colors on this one, orange and green colors on all of the fins. A bluish, greenish color here all along the body. All of these pretty stripes here. Okay. And here is a banded darter. Okay, similar in color. Except you can see the banding goes all the way across the body. Very pretty colors. And here is a rainbow darter. Okay, again, very colorful. Has some orangish red with the bluish green and it also is banded with the greenish color you can see the coloring outlining the fins okay. and this column over here more darter fish. This one is the blue breast darter. You can see some of the blue coloring here and the blue bands along the body. Okay, this one is darker in color. It's the spotted darter. You can see along each of these here they are threatened and this one down here is endangered. So again, important to get familiar with regulations in your handbook for fishing with uh, certain breeds of fish, okay? So, coming down here, it's a little brighter color. This is the Tippecanoe Darter. Looks like more of a yellow color. You can see, it does have some banding there. And here is the um, the gilt darter. Again, it has some of the orange or reddish color to it and the green, greenish blue shading there. Some banding along the body and the fin. And down here, this one is the long head darter. This one has more of a longer, thinner shaped body. Okay, it's a brownish color. You can see it's not exactly uniform in color. And lastly, down here 
we have the Eastern Sand Darter. So this is the one that is endangered. And you can see it has this very long, thin, shaped body. A little bit of a longer, uh, thin, this is the pectoral, or the pelvic fin. I think that's the pelvic fin there. Okay, with a little bit of the spotting there along the body. Okay. Okay, so now here on the other side, we have carps and minnows. Okay. So this one here is a grass carp. See, it's just sort of a light, uniform color, a grayish color. Dang. And down below here we have the common carp. This one is a little bit of a um, larger sized body, more of a brownish color. But again, they all seem to be kind of a uniform color. Although each one a little different. Right here we have the fall fish. Okay. It's a little similar to the grass carp. Maybe just a little bit of a thinner shaped body, the fins are shaped a little differently. Okay. And then we have the common shiner. This one has a little bit more of a rounded head there, a little lighter in color. Of similarly shaped fins to the fall fish. And then we have the creek chub. This one's pretty similar in shape, maybe just a bit smaller to the fall fish. And you can see it has a little bit of a darker shading there along the lateral line. And then here we have the river chub. And this one's different shaped body. It's like this thinner shape coming towards the back fin here. But it also has that darker streak across the side. And here this is a candidate fish. And this is called the horny head chub. Great name for a fish there. And it's a little more yellow in color. It has the stripe there going along the lateral side here. And then this one here is the golden shiner. That's sort of this more golden orange color. A bit of a fatter shaped body. This uh, brownish kind of bright color. And then we have the Emerald Shiner. That one is a much thinner style body. Okay, it's got this greenish hint, tint along the length of the fish. And then we have the spot fin shiner. You can see it's got this bluish color to it. And the fins are a different shade 
brush didn't I do them and then up here we have the blunt nose minnow okay you can see it's got that sort of rounded shape on the head there and it's got some different colors in it this orange is a hue there a little bit of the blue and the lighter colored belly there this one here is a cut lips minnow more of a brownish color seems to be a bit larger than this one here and then we have the fat head minnow okay, they're pretty similar in the shapes of their bodies just one may be a bit larger bit darker in color, sort of that orangey reddish color here. And then we have the black nose, Dace. It's very light in color. This darker stripe coming along the lateral line. A little bit of spotted color up here. And then we have the long nose dates. It's a little bit longer and thinner shaped body. A little bit of a spotted color there. Okay. Now, right here we can take a little closer look at different different fish here um, this one here is called the central uh, stone roller okay you can see a little bit of a different shape here This is a freshwater eel. So this is an American eel. I'm sure that would be easy to spot. Okay. And then we have the bow fins. The bow fin. He has a very differently, very different shaped fins here. And some striping there. And then we have the top minnows. Oh, this is a banded killfish. all of the banding along the body there okay and here we have cod this is a barbet see very different shaped body and this one is endangered and then you can see we're coming to the temperate bath okay, it's 
So right here we have the white perch. See this um, more rounded body? It's light in color. And we have the white bass. Okay. You can see the coloring here. But you can see the fins up here are different than the, um, the carps and the minnows. Okay. Very differently shaped and positioned fins there. And here we have the striped bass. You can see the banding sort of comes. laterally here along the side of the body of the fish. And the striped bass hybrid. A little bit thicker in shape. A bluish color there. But also with the stripes running along the length. And if you'd like to read this down here, it gives you a little more detail about the differences between the striped bass hybrid and the striped bass. So that they can be easily, um, you can easily distinguish between the two of them. And actually include some of the other bass too. All right, so over here, so here we come to the lampreys. And right here we have the Ohio lamprey. And we have the Northern Brook lamprey. This may be very hard to tell the difference in person. They look very similar. Here is a mountain brook lamprey. This one is a threatened population. And the American brook lamprey. And the sea lamprey. And here we have the moon eyes. Okay. Let's see this one with the large eye there. Okay. Looks sort of similar to the um maybe like a carp. Just a bit of the different shaped fin shape of the body. Okay, so here we have some pikes and mud minnows. So this one here is the red fin pickerel. You can see it's a um, sort of a grayish greenish colored body and it's got the red fins there. And then we have the grass pickerel. So it has the uh, same colored fins as its body. Okay. It's just like the red fin pickerel. And then we have the northern pike. Okay, they're all very similar in their body shape. And their fins, they're a little bit different. This one has the spotted colors along its body. The 
brown fins. And then we have the tiger musculund. You can see it sort of has that tiger striping along its body there. And here is the musculund. Okay, a little bit thinner body, looks like. The fins seem to be a little bit smaller there, a bit different shaped back fin. And down here is the chain pickerel. You can see the sort of coloring on its body almost looks like little chain links all along the body. Here is just a little uh, more information about the difference in the coloring, the color and uh, color patterns and the difference in the scales and the jaw pores for all the different types of um, pikes. Okay. Here are the um, sculpins. This is the modeled sculpin. You can see the coloring on the body there. It's actually kind of uh, pretty color. It almost looks like stone. Or okay. And the slimy sculpin. Okay. So, let's move over here. the North American catfish. This is a white catfish. See, the white color. They all have a little bit different shaped fins and body styles. They all have that, I don't know what they're called, little whiskers there. This one is the yellow bullhead. Yellow color there. Here is the brown bullhead. Just a brown color there. This is the channel catfish. A little bit more of a bluish gray color, but Similarly shaped fins, except for this back fin here. It's more pointed. And here is the stone cat. Ooh, sort of a pretty color. And more of a square shaped back fin there. And these are a little shorter here in the front. So now up here, this is the margined mad mad tom. Has a um, similar body, but this back fin is sort of larger than the width of the body. This reddish color. And here we have the flathead catfish. So I guess these are called barbels, or barbels. These are longer here, very long. It's a spotted color. Okay, so then we move on to the drums and the croakers. This one is a freshwater drum. See the shape? 
shape of this one's body is a little unique there. It's a sort of rounded top here. And these are called guards. This one is endangered. This is the spotted gar. See, it has this sort of pointed head here. And this is the long nose gar. Okay, so I guess that one's a little bit longer. Alright, now here we have suckers. This is the quill back. Okay, that kind of has this uniquely shaped fin here. For a fish. This one is the white sucker. Okay. Sort of a crisscross pattern. This one here is the northern hog sucker. Let's see the shape of the mouth. Like a sucker fish. This one here is the river red horse. Got these reddish colored fins. And the short head red horse. Get a little bit lighter color red fins there. And last column here are the herrings. So here we have the blue back herring. Just a blue color and these sort of short fins here. Straight edges on the fins. And this is a hickory shad. It's a little shape of the mouth there. This one is also endangered. Then we have the alewife. Okay. Similar shape to the sky right here. And this one here is the American shad. Because it needs very small fins. Again with the straight edge. And it's got this little bit of dotting here on the body. And finally here is the gizzard shad. See this distinct fin here at the top with that long pointed edge there. Okay. Okay, so I believe this is all we have left are the trout and salmon. So here we have a, a brook trout, and this is actually Pennsylvania's state fish. The orangish dotting there on the body. Sort of has a pinkish red belly there. And here is the brown trout. Okay, it's the same sort of dotted color here. And this one is the rainbow trout. Sort of a 
has this pinkish and greenish color, the white belly, and again, the dotted pattern here. And then we have the steel head, okay, lighter in color, but again with the dotted pattern there only on the upper portion of the body. This one's sort of pretty. This is a golden rainbow trout. More of a golden shade. And I don't see any of the dotted, dotted pattern on this one. Just a bright golden color. And then we have the lake trout. Okay, very similar. It has a little bit different shaped fin here. Darker in color, but again has the dotted pattern. And then we have the Chinook salmon. Okay, light grayish brownish color. A little bit of dotting there, the top and on the fins. And here we have the coho salmon. Pretty similar to this one here. It's very similar in coloring and uh, body style. And here is the pink salmon. See the pink coloring here on the body. And this is the Atlantic salmon. It's more of a blue shade, a little bit of dotting. And finally, over here, there's some, some more anatomy that we already looked at. Um, except on this um, soft rayed fish trout, they have this here that I don't remember. This is the adipose fin. A little bit about identifying different trout species. Taking a look at the fins. Here is a um, from the smelt family. Rainbow smelt. Okay. And this is the uh, stickleback family. This is the three spine stickleback, and this one is endangered. It's a very different pattern on the body here. And then finally, here we have sturgeons, and these are all listed as endangered. This is the short nose sturgeon. This unique type of fish here. This little pattern here along the body. And this one is the lake sturgeon. You can see this sort of rough roughness there along body. This one is the Atlantic sturgeon, more of a greenish color. And here we have the paddle fishes. Okay, this is a paddle fish. You can see the long nose there.
think it's a little bit about the anatomy here and here is a little diagram of the internal fish anatomy Kidneys, um, heart and liver, stomach, spleen. Let's see, we don't need to go over all of that, but it's there for you. So I believe that we've gone over everything. Included here. So I will leave you with these. Alright. And again, if you have any more questions, you just let me know. And I hope that you enjoy. Enjoy yourself and or any of your fishing trips and be safe. Okay, thank you so much.